we're just there to be playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, in the last episode, we moved from, uh, where was it, Rhodes to St. Denise. I think it was Rhodes where we were at. Yeah, we were over... He... What? Wait. Where the fuck... Oh, we were up here. We were right here. Uh, we got into some troubles up in here. Uh, and then we moved down to that, uh, one house. Uh, I guess it's called Shady Bell. Um, that, like, closed down house where all the poopy was at. Not actual poop, but you know. Um, where it, it was originally, I believe, I know it had, um... What do you call it? Like, they would make moonshine and sell it. But I believe, I know online it's one of those uh, places where they have guns and stuff. And I believe that's also um, what they do. Come on, Betsy. Get your fat ass over here. Okay, I actually don't remember what I call this horse. I legit don't remember its name. And I feel bad. Um, I am recording this. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting uh, more onto schedule this week. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I've been busy doing other things. Like, uh, like building, starting to build a back porch on my house. A new one. Uh, so that is something that's been taking up some of my time so most of my videos uh being the tuesday and wednesday video as of right now have been uploaded around like nine o'clock at night uh i'm doing this one after the wednesday one was uploaded so that way this one's ready tomorrow um is this the guy's house that stole the kid I can't I don't remember the kid's name and I feel like a dickhead um, but it's been a while since I played it where's the kid there you are your boys ready of course what else do you know about this guy not much just see some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money now listen. I forgot that I was dressed we up like Woody from Toy Story Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. A better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. No one gonna get shot. I wonder if that's it's that house with the guard right in front of the gate. Is this the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? I forget the kid's name. Was it Kevin? I don't think it was Kevin, not fucking now, so Kevin McAllister from fucking like Home Alone. Gentlemen. Don't shoot Wrong him. Now, boy. Mr. Bronte. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. My hands are partially up. Mine are lower than everyone else's, but they're still partially up. I look like I'm about to bear hug someone. Worry, boys. You want to fight, to bitch? I'll punch you right in your we fucking head. Bitch. That's a nice double barrel you got there, and I know they suck, so nice try killing me. Actually, I should rephrase that. The double barrels suck when you're in close quarters. <laughs> like, in a house that there's no hallway. Because people can pop around that corner and get you real quick. I'm not gonna lie, I was imagining someone that looked much different than that. Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's gonna be a lot of folks we'll give you one. in this room before it's done. As he backs up, <laughs> he talks real so, big game, takes two steps back because he's like, oh, well, they are holding guns right at me. 
house and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me what? to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed I don't think... Have. I mean, the middle guy looks pretty fucking dirty. But me and Dutch yeah. don't. I don't we think so. Simple country folk. I forget the other All guy's we name. Have is each other. And you have gone, and you have took no wonder I sucked at English class. Over some dispute, They'd make us read books. I don't remember a fucking character from any of them. Got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders, and that which we were an innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words, you. Lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. I bet I'm gonna have to use uh, fucking red eye. <laughs> That's the woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the what? Is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> fucking Woody so, from Toy Story. That's and great. My <laughs> Of course, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find him a brown hat just so I can fucking fit it better. Of course, I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this yeah. Game. I love you. <laughs> it's a fucking cemetery. Where else are you gonna grave rob? The dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. They need to see my men. Of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mister Van der Linde. Well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> I want. I honestly want to see how long I can grow his fucking beard. Salute. <laughs> Salute. Of course, Dutch is gonna just sit there and be fucking lazy and not do shit. What are we doing? Huh, Skippy? Alright, let's go. He has nice horse hitches. It's not every day you hear that. I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Um, I've, I've definitely seen it online, because I got into a gunfight in there a couple times. out of that bastard's mouth, we don't even know where Jack is. Listen. Jack. We found Bronte. We got in there. That's what it was. Just with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed okay. to agree. I'm sorry, bud. <clears throat> it's just that I've been the one taking him fishing and stuff, and you haven't been doing shit. I'm actually really excited to go fishing this year. Move, bitch. Get out the fucking road. I just hope you're right. Oh shit, can I just hold X and it's gonna steer all this shit too? Okay. I think this is it. Not Keep exactly, it but let's hit your horses up ahead. John, that's his name. Wait, John Marston? Is that that's his name, isn't it? If it's not, I feel like a fool. Oh, I also uh at the end of the last episode or whatever episode that I made him accidentally look like Woody from Toy Story, I also fixed up all his guns so they're real silver. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Is that bitch running? Oh, 
candles. I hear dogs. Hello. Hello, grave robbers. We get the boy back. Hope there's not a fucking guard dog. Ah. Is it? That bitch is running. It's a goddamn dog. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Oh, I heard a fuck coughing. <laughs> What they do, open one of those fucking, uh, compressed salt ones from the mummy. Pressurized salt, I think is what it was. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. What? They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Where are these fuckers at? I don't know. Look at the size of these things. Corpses in this city live better than we do. I think it's probably past that angel. How big is this goddamn cemetery? This, uh, I don't know if this is the one that I was in or not. Obviously, it, it's a story. Ah, oh, it, it's part of the story, the main story. So, clearly, they're going to make us go farther back. Oh, that's definitely it. That's definitely it. Hey, John. Over here. Come on, motherfucker. Me and my fucking 42 inch barrel. What? Uh, yep, gunfight. Damn it! How many you say? Come on, let's get the hell out of here! They're going to ground, Morgan! You should have paid Mr. Bronte! Careful, son of a bitch. You motherfucker. I'm gonna just tackle them. Wait, what? Mm. Oh, he's going this way. Fuck you. Yep. You got fucked up, boy. Uh, I don't need no worn cattleman revolver. I've already got a good one. And that was a rat. That was a legit rat. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Probably the grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Uh, okay, so we're going back there. Um, do I need to I, I'm assuming that they do want me to loot their bodies to get whatever money they had on them. First of all. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. I'm hurrying. Because I don't know if it's going to trigger something else. 
Um, normally, I'm not too worried about looting bodies because you have way more money on uh, the story mode than you know what to do with. Okay, those fuckers were over here. Were they in this thing? Think there might be something in here. I'm surprised that I went like straight to it. Now let's get out of here. Yep. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe They're gonna think we did it. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Oh, I'm following him. Just in case. Uh, what one's stronger? They're about the same. That one looks like it's just a little bit more. I don't need dual pistols. Because the accuracy is way worse when you have uh, a Kimbo. I found a body. Oh, son of a bitch. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. No, we're not. What do they want me to do? Tackle them? Stick with me. Oh, fuck. I'm going. Oh, uh, no. Dude, go around the fucking thing. This will look bad for us if we get caught. Robbing the grave robbers. Of course they would. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We going? Go! What are you fucking doing? Quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Yeah, let's get back there. My fucking my butthole slammed shut. Okay. Here comes a tram. It's lucky I ain't a religious I think. man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? Get I don't get why the streets usually tell you to go on the left side. Certainly is. Well, let's just it's weird. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Yeah, we, we better get Jack from this. That was a uh, rather odd mission. Like, I, I enjoy the missions that you do different things instead of, like, online. It's like five missions from the whole story online. You took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Yay, we got Jack back. Thank you, Mr. Bronte. You all right? You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Okay. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. I doubt it. All right, let's get we got Jack back. And all we had to do was kill five or six people. Sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Oh no. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's 
Day and night slippers. Oh yes, I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Uh. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guy? Which <laughs> one? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mister. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. I don't like how misty and creepy this ride is. I'm gonna this one's got a house. be careful. Because you never know what kind of shit is gonna go down. Of course you did. Corresponding increase to level two. And I hear a pig squealing. Ba -da, da 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 I wish I had a better variety of horses to actually look through when I went to buy one. It was like legit two, plus the uh, other two I already owned. Is there no Sorry, lights in the house yet? Got him. Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Just Dutch and Arthur, not I got my your son back. husband. Jack, 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 how are you, boy? Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong quite man creepy. before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. What's with the three bullets? Wonder if the more you use it, the more you get. Oh my good god, why do I have so many... Or, yeah, so... Why do I have so many money? No, I have so much money, it's not even funny anymore. Oh, I'm gonna become a rapper now, okay. Uh, I'm gonna immediately go ahead and... I learned my lesson before playing this game. That it takes for fucking ever for it to become day if you just wait. So I'm just gonna run in. Go to bed, and in the morning, oh, they cleared that garbage that was in the middle. Let me guess, I get the absolute smallest room in the entire house, even though I was the one who was involved in clearing the house out. Wait, what? Where the hell is this? Oh, it's over here. Uh, I don't remember what house it is, but my buddy showed me... One of them has a weird um, floorboard that you like shoot. Wait, what? I'll take I'll take fucking everything over here, bud. It's my own room. Oh, it's also the ammo room, I guess. Oh, whoops. Uh, can I not go to sleep? Oh, okay, I can. 
Uh, I like going until morning. That way we have the most daylight. Because I don't know. I don't like recording anything when it's nighttime in a game. I don't even like playing anything when it's nighttime in a game. Um, it's just... I don't know. I, I prefer the light. Yeah, I'm scared. Okay. Um, I want to see... Can I get my fucking beard done? Uh, I wish you could just... I want to see how fucking long you can get his beard. I am not touching his beard. I already messed with his hair. So, I'm gonna keep that there. Inspect my baby. She wrote me a letter. Bam, 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 banana now. Finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Okay, this is that oh, kid Arthur. that was up on the mountain such a mess with the fucking life. turtle shell Time tribe, end. whatever they were. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. God I'm damn staying it. at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. Is she following us? It's wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Okay. I figured I'd just go through the whole thing. Oh, is that hair pomade I see? No, that is a picture of... I don't have a fucking clue. But it looked like... Oh. What? Oh, these are... Okay, those are, what, things that we took? I don't need to examine no goddamn photograph. Okay, we going downstairs. I don't know why I gathered an accent just after hearing that letter. Uh, ba da 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 ba da da Who's on that wanted poster? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Javier Squadla. I I'm pretty sure that I know that name from somewhere. Isn't that one of the people in our group? God damn it, what did he do? Do we need more money? Hell of a morning. Uh, oh, the room's above us. Oh, well. Uh, let me actually, I'm, I'm honestly curious, because I have no idea of what upgrades this camp would need, if any. Um, that kind of pisses me off if we actually need to upgrade. Because we paid a lot last time. Contribute. I'm going to probably give, um, half of my money. Um... I'll give, like, every item. Because this shit's not worth anything to me. I mean, I could go to a fence and sell it, but that's way out of my way to go do that, I think. Might as well get as much money as you can. I wish... Uh, can you only do so much? Because I had two more rings that I was going to do. Of item. Why did it stop early? Okay, let's go back. Do it one more time. Let's give it some... Uh, let's give it some cash. Uh, actually, before I give it cash, let's actually see if we even can 
get anything else. Because if we can't, what's the fucking point? Okay. So that stuff's already still upgraded. That's still upgraded. We have all that stuff already. Yeah, we, we have everything. Okay, that's cool. That's cool that we literally can't upgrade anything. I thought maybe you could upgrade it where the house actually looked decent. Because since you're in a house now, but apparently not. So, let's go out on the town. Not quite yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that mission with the letter first or not. Uh, probably not, because there was already one um, down here. Uh, she said she was in St. Denise. Okay. That's her there. Um, that is clearly a side mission, because it's white. Uh, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, do we want to do Mary Beth needs to speak to me and Hosea, uh, needs to speak to me. Okay. That is the party. So that kind of has to deal with, um, what we were talking about earlier. So I'm going to actually go ahead. I like to try to get one short part of the storyline completed because, that adds to this. Like, this adds to the next part. Hey, Ivan. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> oh, no. Son of a bitch. So, we're going clothes shopping, huh? This is going to be odd. This is going to be really odd. I already know it. wonder how long this loading screen is going to be. Okay. We are ridiculous. Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, Luca. Oh my I'm god. The mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I have a feeling that this is going to go bad and we're going to have to retrieve our guns. Because a lot of missions in other games are like that. Wow. Is the guy that's walking us in the one that took our guns? Ooh. This would make a very nice hideout. I mean, I would never kill everyone in this building to take it as my own. Oh, there's so much stuff we could steal in here. Okay. Marble fucking everywhere. I'm assuming that those lights and stuff are brass instead of gold. Gold would be a little bit over... Overdone. Gold flake picture frames. And a rifle! The angry cowboys who arrived! And you've watched for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. 
Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzad. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island. Bet you any money we're going to have to do something to get back at both of those people. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, that's and fucked. And a to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. This self That's the Monopoly guy. Maybe, maybe you That's not Hector him. fucking anything. Well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking. None taken. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. He's like the fucking Godfather. They hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy. Uh, don't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy mm -mm. yourself. This is gonna be like the guy on uh, Vice City that you worked for that you had to fucking kill. You could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. We're going to have to kill him. What uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money... Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes! As my guest, bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna have to kill him. Okay, I, I, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust him. Do not trust him. If you'll kindly follow me. They just locked the door. You don't want me going in there for some reason. They have our guns too. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. So it's Saint Denis instead of Saint Denis. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Too fancy. Okay. Um, oh, what am I going to run around and be like, hey? Stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Okay, so we have to find the mayor, which is the guy with the bushy, bushy fucking beard, and he's wearing a top hat. Right? Top hat, bushy beard. I'm looking for a top hat, bushy beard. And glasses right there. It's him. It's him. I know it's him. Yep, I found him before it even showed me. This intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical fancy. So he's the mayor of all Saint Denis. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. What say you and me, Kulo? 
Let's go. Come on, sleep it off. Why a bodyguard now? Oh, I was hypothetically talking to him, as I do air quotes, that you guys can't see, so I'm just clinically insane. Mayor, it's quite a place you got here. It's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord, the writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? I legit didn't know they had fireworks back in. Did they? I don't. I don't remember what year this is. I'm, I thought it was like the 17 or 1800s. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. About Mr. Cornwall. Oh, I'm just, uh, just, uh, walking. I'm not following you. I'm just walking and ignoring the fireworks, unlike everyone else. Howdy diddly. Oh, this feels a lot like Mafia 3 right now. Are you watching us like hawks? Like ham hawks? You dumb bitch. Oh, I'm just... The mayor said he will sign later. Oh. I'm... I'm not spying, I'm just leaning against the wall. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? God damn. Said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Alright, someone's pissed. He's going upstairs. I bet he's going into that goddamn room. The one that they locked. He is. That motherfucker is. Huh? What? Okay, am I just supposed to listen? I don't want to be fucking seen. Huh? Get that ledger, bitch. Now I gotta get... Oh, okay. Please don't walk in while I'm looking.
Okay, we just gotta return to Dutch. We're like a spy. Like secret agent Oso. That shit's fucking... That was like right at the end of me watching cartoons as a kid. Do I go the same way that I was? Which was straight out this door? I'm returning to Dutch. As fast as I can. Okay, so that we got that confidential info. I don't know what it's about, exactly. It's something to do with Cornwall. Monsieur? I probably could have walked right out those front doors, huh? Instead of going all the way around. Uh, yeah, I could have. Instead of being a dumb dumb. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Yeah, boy. What did you find out? I found out that that guy's fucking pants are too short. You see his goddamn socks? There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. I don't play poker, bud. If I knew how, I probably would. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. I love the fact that they can remember whose gun is whose. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Ah, uh, it's probably a pretty good idea. Interesting times, I guess. <laughs> so what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where's there left Where to go? Home? I don't know. Exactly. Where... Or as far east as well, this I map can really go by now. I'm gonna go and unless we go like northeast, like way up about. there. Okay. I forget what that place is even called. Uh, hippity hoppity, get off my property. Um, I am going to be ending the episode there. I just checked the time. We're running at about 45 minutes, and that's pretty long, even though we only did two missions. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be ending it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click one of my previous, next, and related videos, and don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.